Hi, I'm Sari Sudekarin. This is the follow-up to last week's video on cameras cinematographers use for their latest projects. This week I also introduced some relevant streaming shows and cameras used for their latest seasons. This should give us a clearer picture of the kind of cameras used in our industry. Before you get the wrong idea, most cinematographers change cameras and lenses if the situation calls for it. It doesn't mean they haven't used any other cameras or lenses. It also doesn't mean these cameras are their favorites, because they might be using it out of compulsion. Let's start with Greg Fraser, cinematographer for The Batman, Dune, and The Mandalorian. Even though he used a Sony Venice in The Batman, he used the Arri Alexa LF for Dune and The Mandalorian. He also uses a process called DFD, Digital Film Digital, which is a technique to add film grain and texture by moving to film and then back to digital to sort of mimic the gritty film look. Benoit Debbie used the Arri Alexa LF and the Mini LF on Seneca on the creation of earthquakes and his works with Gaspar Noé like the Vortex. John Toll used the Red Monster for 80 for Brady but went with the Sony Venice for the Matrix Resurrections and Harriet. He sources his lenses from Panavision. Sean Bobbitt uses the Alexa SXT and Mini and now LF for shows like the Rhythm Section, Judas and the Black Messiah. James Friend used the Alexa 65 on All Quiet on the Western Front and Willow so for your honor he picked the Sony Venice. Florian Hofmeister picked the Alexa 65 and LF for Tar but chose the Sony Venice for Antlers and Divine. One can see the Sony Venice making inroads which was once Red's space. Fedor and Papa Michael is an Alexa guy and picked the LF for the trial of the Chicago 7 and Ford vs Ferrari. He used the Alexa Mini for Brighton Ford. Darius Wolski is also an Alexa guy and shot House of Gucci and The Last Duel on the Mini LF. News of the World was shot with the Alexa LF. Sentil Kumar, the cinematographer of RRR, shot it with the Alexa LF and Ari's signature prime lenses. And finally we have Ari Wegner who shot The Power of the Dog and The Wonder on the Alexa LF. She shot Zolon film and, like Greg Fraser, uses DFT to get the film look even when she shoots digital. Now let's go over some popular streaming shows to see what cameras were used for the latest seasons. I'm not going to mention cinematographer names here because some shows have multiple cinematographers. You can get this information on IMDb easily anyway, so feel free to explore. The Handmaid's Tale used the Ari Alexa. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is being shot on the Alexa Mini. The Crown is currently being shot on the Sony Venice. Mindhunter was shot on Red Helium. Ozark is shot on the Sony Venice. Tales from the Loop is shot on the Panavision Millennium DXL2. Westworld is shot in film. Bridgerton is shot on the Sony Venice. Lovecraft Country is shot on both the Alexa LF and the Sony Venice. The Umbrella Academy is shot on the Alexa 65. It looks like a lot of Marvel stuff is shot on the Alexa 65. Euphoria shot on the Alexa 65 in film. Loki shot on the Sony Venice. Perry Mason shot on the Sony Venice. Squid Game, which is very popular worldwide, shot on the Red Monstro. House of the Dragon shot on the Alexa 65. The Lord of the Rings, The Ring of Power shot on the Alexa LF. The Last of Us, currently the hottest streaming show right now on TV maybe, shot on the Alexa Mini. The Walking Dead, another great zombie series, is shot on the Panavision Millennium DXL2. It used to be shot on 16mm film and 35mm film. Peaky Blinders is shot on the Red Monstro and the Ranger. Only Murders in the Building shot on the Sony Venice. Peacemaker shot on the Alexa Mini LF. And uh, finally Better Call Saul. It was shot on the Red earlier but they have shifted to the Alexa 65 and the Mini LF for the final season. That should tell you a lot. It's pretty clear from these two videos that the Arri Alexa, specifically the LF, dominates the industry right now. The Sony Venice is easily in second place. And Red has some takers, but have fallen behind on the biggest shows. The Arri Alexa LF is the clear winner, which along with the original Alexa and Alexa Mini, are the most widely available cameras around the world. The Alexa 65 is rental only, and is not available in all markets. To know what makes the Alexa LF special, check out my review of the camera. I'll link to it in the description. I'll also link to the article that has all this information tabulated so you can check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.